This new transition into a season of spring can be a challenge for some people and easy for others. And so today, I just want to encourage and motivate you as a homemaker to know you can do it. You can make progress. You can stay motivated and disciplined in your morning homemaking routine and schedule. So I always start my morning off with my Bible reading. Most of you know that if you follow me and today I just wrote down the things that I needed to accomplish in my morning really and um, just wanted to get that going while my husband and daughter sat in the other chair. But of course, most of you know too, I always make breakfast for our family of three, soon to be four. Making breakfast for my family is just part of my morning routine. It's become habitual, something I do every single morning. I get up usually by 6.20, 6.30 and um, do my reading and planning for the day and then start breakfast about 7.00. And so even just having that routine is something that I value and think helps with a morning and helps it get started off on the right foot. And eating a nourishing meal, even if you're a working mom or a working person, then I think even just eating breakfast is something really valuable and important and having that routine in the morning. And then I always do dishes after breakfast while my daughter plays. Yes, we do have a dishwasher, but when there's only 10, 15 items, I'm not gonna just stick them in the dishwasher. I don't mind doing the dishes and the, the cast iron skillet can't go in the dishwasher anyways. So um, I just might as well wash those. And to me, that's kind of just a way to set my mind frame for the day. Just looking out the window at the buds coming on the trees and the green grass outside just kind of gets me set for the day and as you notice I am still in my pajama bottoms not every day do I always get dressed before breakfast yeah it's not the most beautiful outfit but right now being about 30 weeks pregnant it's comfortable and I'm still able to get things done but that doesn't mean I won't get ready for the day as you can see here so while my daughter played on the bed, I just thought, okay, I'm going to get dressed, do my hair, put a little makeup on, and just really um, value how I present myself, even if I'm just staying home for the day. First thing on my list was to fold my one basket of laundry, and laundry is something that I pretty much try to do daily. At least get a load done the night before, that way I can fold it in the morning. But it is just, to me, such a simple task when it takes about three to five minutes to fold this load of laundry. And again, this is another thing there where my mind can kind of just think about the day, dwell on my Bible reading, um, converse with my daughter or if you have kids helping you talk with them train them during this time I just think as a homemaker folding laundry and doing a simple task like that is something that um, can just really be beneficial for many reasons And on my list also was stretching. I really try to make sure to stay limber and stretch and do nothing too strenuous with my stretches or exercises. Um, just, you know, being pregnant, but I find that very important and want to keep that on my morning routine and morning to-do list. We had been gone for a little vacation, and so I hadn't vacuumed in, oh, probably two weeks, so it was definitely time to do that. Just straighten a few things out. Uh, while you vacuum, of course, there's always little toys to pick up, but I just, I really enjoy vacuuming, um, making the floor clean, making the house just tidy, and again, that's part of today's routine, and 
um, just getting something done like that is a five minute task that didn't take a whole lot of time, not a whole lot of strenuous activity, and something that is um, a way to keep the house clean and to um, just love on your home. And a task, again, that had to get done was wiping the floors, being gone, dust ends up sitting on the floors, um, hair, you know, all that different stuff. But I really enjoy having clean floors. And I know I've said this before, and most of you uh, do know that, that I don't mind getting on my hands and knees, even being pregnant. So I'm getting my hallway clean and my bedroom clean. And it's fun to have my daughter just kind of meander around wherever I go. Sometimes she pretends to help, sometimes not. But that's also a good way to encourage our children is to show them it's okay to do tasks when they're around and to have them help if they're old enough, to have them watch. And I think that's just so fun and so special. Also on my list was to clean some of the surfaces, like the glass window, um, the bigger one anyways, because fingerprints happen and food splatters from where my daughter sits and then do the TV as well. And so that just was something very quick, easy, took about five minutes again to do. But again, it was something that could be accomplished very quickly that I could get done and feel good about taking care of those little things in my home. Spring can be tricky in which you see a lot of people doing their big spring cleaning routines. And yes, I do share a video on that, but I also want you to know you can do the little things if you don't have time in a day to clean all your windows inside and outside. If you don't have time to repaint different areas, that is okay. You can do what you can handle, and if that just means dusting for five minutes in one day, awesome for you. I think that's so good that you got something done, and I just want to encourage you in that way and not make you feel like you have to do a bunch of little things every day or have a whole mess of spring cleaning routine. I encourage it to love on our homes, but if you can't, it is okay. Do what you can do as a homemaker. So here is my list of planting the seeds and painting the bedroom walls are going to be during my daughter's afternoon nap. But if you look at everything else, folding the laundry, stretching, vacuuming the living room, swiffering the halls and the bedroom and dusting main surfaces was all accomplished in that time by about 9.30 a.m. And that way I could spend time with my daughter doing some fun activities and getting my um, time outdoors and just then being able to accomplish those other tasks in the afternoon. As you can see, my morning tasks were not time consuming, but it is just nice to know they can happen and it is um, something I hope to motivate you with knowing stick to your routines, find something that works for you and your family and know you can continue to do a great job as a homemaker.